Hey, it's Pastor Todd coming to you from my house where we are socially distanced and sheltered in home. Uh, so for some of us, including me, that's kind of frustrating. There's a lot I want to be doing with my time, my life. And as much as I sometimes think, oh, I wish I had some time at home, I'm getting a little frustrated. And I'm just wondering today, what do you do when you get really frustrated? And what frustrates you? We're going to talk about that, and I hope that you'll talk back to me about it as well. Sometimes when we get frustrated, we react in different ways. Some people get physically active when they get frustrated. They might stomp their feet. They might hit their fists. They may actually do some destructive things. Sometimes when we get frustrated, we do verbal things that later we regret. We may shout, swear, say things we wish we could take back. Some of us start to sulk. Some of us relationally take it out on other people and hurt other relationships or people that we should be caring about. Sometimes we revert to a bad habit. In the frustration, we feel like, well, this is just the time that I'm going to throw it all in. I'm going to give up. And we go back to an old addiction, something we thought we had gotten rid of. Or maybe we just go attack that half gallon of ice cream that's in the freezer. Sometimes when we're upset or frustrated, we make statements like, God does not know, he does not care, he is not acting. If God knew, he wouldn't let this be happening to me. And you know, when I think about that, and that's pretty common, and I see that in social media, I see people making those kind of statements of God was really there, and he really knew what to do, why isn't he doing something? And then I read today out of Romans, a doxology that Paul wrote, and Boy, it really puts it into perspective. He said, Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and to him are all things to him be the glory forever. Amen. That's Romans 11, 33 through 36. The one that really stood out in my mind was this. Who has known the mind of the Lord or who has ever been his counselor? Who's ever told God how to do something? Did God ever need my advice? Did I ever have to say to God, here's the way this should be done? Now, in the middle of whatever we're going through, or whatever frustration you may have with what's happening now. You may be really frustrated over uh, the, the news reports you see. Uh, all of the hurt and destruction and sickness and death that people are experiencing. It's frustrating. Uh, you might be frustrated over your job, or you're concerned about the economy of our nation, or what's ahead for you. There might be something totally unrelated to all this. Maybe you're just frustrated being with the people you're with. You're just thinking, this is too tight. This is too close. I can't stand it. i got to get out. No matter what you're frustrated in, whatever you're in the middle of, God knows and God has the answer. Nobody has to say to God, here's how it should be done. God knows what to do. So now more than ever, I want to encourage you to do something. Give your frustrations to God. Instead of taking it out physically or, or verbally or hurting other people or going back to an old thing that you know you shouldn't be a part of, I would like you in the middle of that frustration to call out to him. So here's our conversation today. Right now, what are you most frustrated with? And how do you feel that maybe today you could turn that over to God? Would you just make a comment about that? I'd love to write back to you. Let me pray with you. Father, I lay all my frustrations and all my concerns before you. And today, instead of doing something that later I'll regret, I want to just give it to you. And I want to converse with you because you know exactly what to do. Nobody has to give you counsel. Nobody has to tell you how to do it. You're in control. And so today, I lay my burdens, my frustrations at your feet, knowing you do everything well. Thank you for being so so powerful, more than all we need. Amen. I look forward to seeing what you've got to say. Have a great day.